Hey there friends, Nibs again. Wanted to get out and do a little shooting tonight. Uh, show you another uh, kind of cool gun from my uh, collection. Uh, just wanted to get out and do a little shooting. Nice Sunday evening. Uh, sun's just starting to set. It was raining earlier, so everything's kind of very humid now out here, but uh, still doesn't deter me from getting out and doing a little shooting. Get another video done for you guys. Um, but uh, this one's pretty cool. Um, I do like my lever action guns and uh, these Marlin, uh, this is a Marlin, uh, they call them Levermatics. Uh, they had a whole series of them. Um, and uh, they had them in 22, 22 long rifle, 22 magnum, and they had a couple of center fire cartridges, which I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, um, I've only owned the ones that are rim fire so far. Uh, Someday maybe I'll find a center fire one that I that I want to shoot or want to put my money down for. But so they made them in uh, the rimfire ones in two different versions: uh, a uh, Model 56, which this one is a Model 56, and the Model 56 has a uh, detachable box magazine. Um, and then they made a Model 57, and the 57 was a tube feed. Um, the Model 56, they only ever made it in 22 long rifle. They never made a, a box magazine version in 22. Car's going over there. Uh, never made a uh, 22 Magnum version with a box magazine. So, um, but in on the other side, the 57, they made a 57M. And they also made just a plain 57 and 22 long rifle. Um, and the, the 57M is uh, far more common actually than the 57. Um, I do have a 57 at home as well. Um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're very hard to find the, uh, the 57s in uh, 22 long rifle. So um, this particular one's pretty neat. Um, they started making. These uh, in, in 56, I believe, is because that's where they got the model, original model number for these. It was in 56. Um, but uh, this one, I don't believe, is an early version. Um, I do have another one of these at home that has a more blonde colored stock, and uh, the back here is more squared off. Um, and one of the other things that um, the other one has that this one doesn't, and that the other one is like a first year of production <clears throat> is uh, that one has a serial number on it and they only put the serial numbers on them for whatever reason in the first year of production and then after that they stop putting serial numbers on them all together um, and uh, they discontinued these I believe in like 67 or 68 uh, just as that uh, law was coming into effect that required uh, um, serial numbers on everything on all firearms so um, none of the uh, older ones ever did have serial numbers on them so um, I've got some uh, Aguila Super Extra here shoot a couple of rounds for you you can see how this thing works it's pretty cool um, the short it's got a very short stroke for the uh, handle most uh, you know lever actions you have to really crank that handle down to about 90 degrees but uh I'll show you this one before I actually put the mag in there, just show you how that cycles. But uh, so um, that's as far as the handle needs to go, and then back up, and it's that that cycles the whole cycle of the the uh, mag, uh, bolt. So you can see how fast the bolt comes back. And, um, it's, it's a gear drive in there that uh, makes it go faster. So. Um, so just uh, just shooting at my gong out here at 50 yards, so nothing uh, nothing special, but I uh, thought it'd be fun to shoot the gong with it. See that pop right out and just back up again and chambers another round. They can go pretty fast if you want them to, but I'm not in any hurry. The 
one thing on these ones they're very smooth I, I kind of lose track of lose track of what round I was on uh, okay that was the last one but uh, they uh, they are pretty cool I'll get you a little close up on it here and see if you can get some light on it um, this one's got a few bumps and bruises on the stock but uh, overall it's in pretty decent shape um, they come with a little, little uh, stamp sheet metal hood on the top. Um, it does have it does have a place where a uh, they come from the factory with a place where a uh, peep sight can go here on the side, and they also come from the factory uh, with holes that uh, can accept a uh, scope mount. Um, I've had scopes on my other my 57M, I believe, one of my 57Ms. I believe I had a scope mount on that one, or still do, or whatever. Um, but uh, so there's the other side. You can see it. how little it takes to move that that action. So anyway, running out of light here, so I'll wrap this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed seeing uh, another great gun out of my collection. Um, Really uh, appreciate everybody uh, that's subscribed so far. I hope you'll uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, share with your friends, and uh, keep this channel growing. Uh, really having a lot of fun making these videos for you guys, and uh, different challenges and stuff coming up on uh, Facebook. That's a lot of, or on on YouTube, uh, amongst all of the uh, the different channels and stuff. That's a lot of fun too. So I finished another one up tonight uh, with the. Uh, the shaving cream at 100 yards with a pistol that's that's going to be another video here but uh so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you on the next one have a great day